What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mammoth Ego, and I am here today breaking down the Jane Foster trailer for you. All of its greatness, all of its goodies. We're going to look at her moves, look at her cosmetics, and talk about how she's going to play in the future. Let's dive in. The gameplay reveal has just been dropped, and the action is absolutely incredible. Uh, Jane looks amazing, and her interactions in the team look absolutely stellar. Her combat is so smooth and fluid. Now you can see some similarities here, as we're going to expect, because she is, after all, the God of Thunder. So there are some moves that definitely feel very, very, very good and similar to our boy Thor, while still having a really nice spin on it for Jane. Now something that is really cool here and really shows off her control of Mjolnir is the way she throws it, the way that Cap does his shield in Brooklyn Brawler. I think is absolutely amazing and shows that she actually has greater mastery of Mjolnir than Thor does. I think that's wild. So taking a look at Jane's moves, we start in first with the All Mother's Blessing. Uh, this is her new intrinsic, or what they're calling her intrinsic abilities. It looks very, very similar to Thor's Odin Force ability. Lots of lightning being thrown around and all sorts of mayhem. Now, after building up enough of the blessing, you're going to unleash the God Tempest. This overcharge uh, attack increases range damage and makes damage explosions on hit, making her attacks even more deadly. And as you can see here, every hit, she's just exploding guys with this overcharge ability. This is super, super cool. And depending on how they let her masteries go, I see a lot of damage potential here. Now, Quickfire is a new ranged attack ability that will allow you to rapidly fire off a second hammer throw after uh, throwing it the first time very similar to Cap's uh, shield kick ability or his ranged combo. Allowing Jane to more rapidly throw Mjolnir and chain combos with her ranged attack. So another ranged ability that they've introduced here is the Seek and Pin. You will now throw the hammer and have it automatically target and pin your enemies without you needing to aim at anything. Super neat and leads into something really cool too. And with Jane's new heroic buff, Earth's Finest, she is going to become the embodiment of Asgard's Wrath, flinging Mjolnir around much like Cap does in Brooklyn Brawler, adding to combo hits and greatly increasing her damage. And now we've got her signature unarmed attack now because she is not limited to just throwing around Mjolnir or relying on her version of Odin Force. You can see her, she is unleashing a mighty Sparta kick. Jane's ultimate heroic ability, the all weapon, is truly fearsome. She throws Mjolnir into the crowd where it will seek and destroy enemies with a mind of its own. Not to be left unprotected, Jane equips herself with the all weapon and smashes enemies with enhanced damage and damage reduction as well. You guys may notice that this looks very, very similar to Hawkeye's uh, seek and destroy arrow here. And you're not wrong, it looks like a combination of some moves, uh, basically Hulk's Rage and the Yondu Arrow. It looks incredible. And not only can it be used offensively, but you can also use Mjolnir as an orbiting barrier as well. So you greatly increase your defense while also increasing your offensive capabilities. So yeah, she's going to feel similar to Thor, because how could she not? She has his powers and his hammer, but as we can see here in the gameplay demos and the breakdown of the skills, she's going to play very, very different, differently. I for one am looking forward to playing her as a pure melee character and bringing Asgard's might to aim. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you found this informative. Check me out live on Twitch, where I'm live Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. 
I'm your boy, Mammoth Ego, telling you guys again, I love you 3,000. Take care of yourselves, and most importantly, guys, take care of each other.